वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड आई बैक फॉर यू वंस अगेन विद इन अदर वीडियो ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फ्लाइट सिमिलर फ्यू डेज बैक आई परचेज द कैपन सेम ट्रिपल सेवन थ्री हंड्रेड ईयर एंड फेस सम इशूज ड्यूरिंग द क्लाइंब एंड प्लस ड्यूरिंग द डिसेंट इज वेल द प्लेन वॉज नॉट स्टेबलाइजिंग एट द गिवन ऑल्टीट्यूड एंड प्लस इट वॉज जस्ट गोइंग फोर फाइव हंड्रेड अबव द गिवन ऑल्टीट्यूड एंड ड्यूरिंग द डिसेंट द प्लेन वॉज नॉट डिसेंडिंग ऑल दो आई ट्राइड uh setting up uh, the vertical speed and uh, it never worked out for me so i was having issues if you go to the marketplace you can see this captain sim uh, 777300 um er is available in the market play- place uh, let me just show you yeah uh, if you go over here into the aircraft uh, and if you go down below you can see that boeing 777300 er is here and uh, i have uh, already purchased this one so i own this plane uh due to this issue i was not able to do a flight and thanks to one of our subscribers who uh suggested a fix uh, for this issue i tried that yesterday and it worked well for me i tried one flight from heathrow to frankfurt which also uh turned out to be a good flight and uh, this plane had no issues and uh, i've also heard that some people are also complaining that this plane is uh, like uh, tilting towards left or right during the flight so if you go to the options and you go into the general options and you select the flight model um uh, you'll see that modern is selected initially when i was flying this plane i was flying this plane on legacy uh on this flight model uh this plane was not responding properly but once i uh, changed the profile uh to modern in the flight model everything was all right thank you very much uh, for your comment and i really appreciate that as i told you before and i've been saying this thing in my videos that nowadays with the youtube and facebook and instagram and so many social media platforms in place um, it's become a small community the whole world is is a community where you, you can just come and share your experiences and if you have any issues in the simulation um, there is somebody out there who is ready to help you and thanks to these kind of people and i'm really happy that after starting this channel although uh, i've been learning from other videos as well but from my videos i've also learned a lot uh, after i've got comments from uh, you people uh, so boeing 777300 er is already selected i'll just do a quick uh, flight uh, from uh, karachi uh, to dubai although i'm not going to complete this flight i'm just going to show you uh, that uh, uh, it's uh, not not to frankfurt <laughs> to omdb I've been doing a flight uh, from uh, uh, Heathrow to Frankfurt. That's why Frankfurt was in the back of my mind. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do a, a quick takeoff from runway 25 left, and uh, let's uh, select the set and the flight condition. I will set it to like let's say eight. 26 in the morning let's go and check initially when i was trying this plane um the issue was uh, during the climb uh once uh, i was supposed the plane was supposed to level off at the given altitude the plane was not actually leveling off at the given altitude and it continued with the climb and uh, there were times when it stopped 3 uh, or 400 f- uh, feet above the designated altitude due to which atc was constantly asking me to uh, descend to the uh, to the given altitude and when i was trying to descend the plane was not descending and that was uh, an issue so i tried uh, two or three times then as you know i have a busy schedule <laughs> i go to my office that's why i just abandoned the plan and i thought of not doing it uh, this plane a uh, 777300 er is based on the 747 uh, default plane in microsoft flight simulator so the cockpit is not exactly as the 777 uh, 300 it's um, it's based on 747 but the exterior is good if you just go out and look at the plane uh, from outside it looks nice it's a very nice uh, plane and it's uh, good to fly it i have uh, tried a flight uh, yesterday and um, and to be honest with you it was not a bad one it was really good i enjoyed the flight and uh, now i'm uh, thinking of uh, changing the liveries because this plane comes up with some liveries uh, air new zealand qatar and then emirates and uh, klm 
so i am trying to do some flights with those libraries so let's uh, take this plane up in the air and let's see if uh, this issue is still there or is it resolved uh, so i've got a clearance for 6000 feet i think i will go up to 15000 feet and from there i will try to descend and let's see if uh, this thing works or not why i'm going to 15000 i've got a clearance for 6000 So let's uh, set it to 6,000 feet and let's set the speed to 230 below 10,000. Auto throttle is on, flight director is on. Just uh, release uh, uh, the parking brakes. Oops, thrust was not in the idle form. Anyhow, this video is not related to flying. <laughs> we are just checking uh, the performance in this on this plane. There is also a mod available for uh, uh, 330 Airbus A330. I've done a flight. I've uploaded the video on my channel as well. I hope uh, you will also go and watch that video and you will enjoy that flight so positive rate of climb gears up handling is also really good Let's uh, Center, Captain Sim Charlie, reduce Sierra the throttle a bit. So the flaps are up. Now I'm going to activate uh, the autopilot. Uh, set the speed and uh, climb rate of uh, 2,650 feet per minute. Decrease in the speed, but uh, flaps are set to zero. So I just, as I told you before, I am not. Uh, oh forgot to turn on the LNAV so let's turn on the LNAV so that the navigation is uh, there So this is a nice plane. Um, since uh, the problem has been solved, <laughs> I've started to like this plane. Uh, I always wanted to fly this uh, 777 uh, plane and um, in X-Plane 11 it was not available. But uh, in, uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator when 787 was there, I was really happy to fly it but still wanted to fly 777 uh, as well. So I'm glad uh, that this plane is now available. Now leveling off at uh, 6,000 feet. Let's, uh, sorry, uh, let's uh, see. I have a clearance for 18,000 feet. So I will climb up to 18,000 feet and I will see that if the plane levels off at 18,000 feet, it should level off. Initially, it was not leveling off at 18,000 feet. It was like four or 5,000 uh, above the given altitude. So let's set it to 18,000. And let's uh, climb at a, at a higher rate, at 3,000 feet per minute, and let's see what happens. Now the plane has uh, passed the 17,000 feet mark and uh, 600 feet more to go. Uh, let's see if uh, the plane levels off. At 18,000, you can see the thrust is uh, getting reduced.
so i think the fix has worked uh, it's really amazing so i will be doing some flights over the weekend just uh, one more day to go for the weekend my weekend is uh, friday and saturday <laughs> so i'm anxiously waiting for the weekend so that i can make more videos and uh, plus i'll also do the tutorial uh, for the beginners uh, so you can see the plane has now level off at 18000 feet uh, so this is really good uh, now let, let's try to uh, let's try to descend uh, to 10,000 feet and let's see if uh, this uh, thing works or not so I am uh, setting the altitude to 10,000 feet and uh, set the vertical speed and uh, descent will be at a high rate let's see at uh, 3,000 feet Because initially when I was uh, trying to descend, it was not descending. Okay, so now the vertical speed is getting adjusted as the uh, speed over here is under control. It's slightly high, but it's okay. So if I keep the vertical speed at uh, 1800, what will happen? Let's see. Okay, it's good because uh, uh, the flaps are not there. That's why. And the speed, uh, due to the overspeeding issue, the vertical speed is set in such a way uh, that the plane doesn't overspeed. If I, what if I if I take the flaps? Let's do it. So after the flaps, uh, the vertical speed should increase. Yes, you can see it is. It has now increased. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. More flaps. So you can see uh, the vertical speed is increasing with the flaps because uh, there is now drag. So if I take more flaps, I think I should cancel this IFR because we don't need it. I'm going to end uh, this uh, this flight as soon as the plane is at 10,000 feet. So now can I increase the vertical speed at uh, 2,000 feet per minute? You can see that it's working. So initially it was not working like this. I'll do this flight from Karachi to Dubai. It's one of my favorite routes. Uh, still, the speed is high because uh, I have a high um, rate of descent. Uh, so, nothing to worry about. 11,700, 1300 feet to go. And let's see if the plane levels off at 10,000 feet. So, this is the last check. And uh, if we pass this check, it means that this plane is uh, good to go and uh, you can uh, take it out for a spin to different airports <laughs> you can uh, fly your favorite routes you can see again the throttle is increasing it means the plane is leveling off at 10,000 feet and uh, this plane has uh, passed uh, the first test <laughs> more tests to come I'll uh, take it out for a complete flight and I will see 
if it uh, works well uh, thank you very much for staying with me if you have any questions or if you have any comments do post your comments in the comment section and if you have any suggestions most welcome i always uh, invite uh, some positive uh, feedback as well and uh, hopefully you have enjoyed my video and uh, there are so many other videos related to x 11 microsoft flight simulator which uh, you can just go and watch to make uh, your flight simulation uh, experience uh, better if you're new to this flight simulation and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i keep on doing different videos and you will be getting the updates for that thank you very much for staying with me once again and hope to see you soon